how are you all sorry for this disturbance there is construction going on at the top so let's crack it that is the tagline let's crack it let's crack the usage of connectors and up we go i'm an ice trainer at an ice institute in amritsar and sorry there is a lot of disturbance going on here hi pachu how are you Okay, let's wait for some more moment for the people to join. Pachu has been my regular viewer for this uh, YouTube classes, and anybody else? I'm waiting for the others to join. Okay. Anyways, we'll wait for some more moment and then we'll start with the class. Actually, this class was regarding the usage of the connectors. How the connectors are used in IELTS speaking module and also on the other modules of the reading, uh, writing, and the speaking, both of them. So before I begin the class, I would just like to introduce myself as an educator. I'm Napreet Kaur. I'm an IELTS trainer since last three years, and I've been into this line. I always love to teach the students and give them the best possible lessons so that they can learn from them, and if that helps them. I share my knowledge with them so that they can score higher bands in their IELTS examination. My total work experience is more than 20 years and that is in the various corporate sectors where I worked on different profiles and at the different positions. My qualification is I've done MBA. I've cleared the IELTS test with 7.5 bands overall. However, if I try now, probably I'll be able to score more, more bands and I'm aiming at getting nine bands. I've taught hundreds of students offline and helped them score seven bands, seven plus bands in their IELTS examination. So I always, I've always focused on the strengths and weaknesses of the students. I haven't gone for that like jase bheer chal hoti i have always tried to segregate the students according to their needs that's why i always love to be to give the best possible lessons i joined an academy as an educator of ielts my referral code at an academy is ncor you can see here that it's marked in red it's just the short name of my name Napreet Kaur. It's very simple to remember. You can easily remember it as Ancor and you can easily find it on the Unacademy Learners app. You can download the Learners app, subscribe to the courses, and use 
my referral code ENCOR so that that's and it's it, this is the referral code which is very easy this the short form of my name Napreet N is for Napreet and CAR is there it's very very easy to remember then I have a telegram channel which the address of that is mentioned here and the username you can see here is NCOR Unacademy if you want to search this telegram channel you can easily search it as NCOR Unacademy and this is the channel where I have uh, made this just for you people to interact with me because on the online platform we are otherwise not able to interact or we are not able to uh, give the corrections to you so this telegram channel is there with where you can send your writings or you can send any of your material which you want me to correct or if you want any to give any kind of feedback or you want to send any kind of documents you can send through through this channel and i will check your writings or i can check your readings and send you back along with the feedback that is why we have created this telegram channel and I hope you will all be using this and it will be beneficial for both of you you can also search me through this link which is provided here with the username given my name as now underscore breathe seven one hyphen five four seven six you can also find it here and you can subscribe to the courses you can see my profile over there on the google by this uh, link you can easily search it over there and one more important and the most important thing is that if you enroll my live classes using my referral code you would get a 10 percent discount on your course fee that would be a saved money you would be able to save 10 percent on your of course fee and it would be beneficial for both us or both of us it will be a win-win situation for both of us because 10 percent is not a small amount if you save from um, from your course fee which already is very nominal which i'll be discussing in the next slides also since the course fee in itself is very nominal you will be easily be able to um, save 10 percent and it will become very cheap for you in comparison to the other fees uh, of our counterparts in the market so i feel i hope you all have noted down and since in this i'm trying to just give you how to use the connectors i'll be giving those benefit those can I'll be discussing all those connectors which can be used in the IELTS writing module as well as in the speaking modules right then we'll also be discussing various I have taken up other courses also which I'll be giving in the future we are discussing that also I'll show you those courses also what I'll be taking up in the future so this is the benefit of joining an academy because there are all live and structured courses at an academy and we all easily we can uh, learn from these structured and organized classes the lessons are by all top educators there are weekly quizzes and doubt clearing sessions because we go for the practice sessions also i have a plan of introducing the practice sessions in the ielts reading module from the 1st of December I'll be starting that course also where I'll be um, giving you different types of the question which you can practice along with me and that will that will give you a practice of all the types of the questions I'll take up one type of question and then I'll uh, practice along with you you can practice those courses and then We'll be doing these different practice sessions in the IELTS reading module. So here again, the thing is that I have again mentioned the referral code is NCOR. And if you use this referral code, you can get a 10% discount on your course fee. Uh, 
the telegram channel which has been mentioned here is this and the link which you can follow is also given the main thing is that if you join an academy using my referral code you will not only get a 10 percent discount but you will also have an access to all the live and structured classes which are there because these are very very well organized classes we go into the details which we normally do not do on the uh, offline classes since as you already have seen that I am an IELTS trainer, I teach offline students. I know what experience is there for the offline. Here in the offline classes, we generally formulate the lessons depending on our availability or depending on, upon the student demands. But once we are in an academy, here we have certain structures which we have to follow. And we go into many details we go into certain details where we can give you all small details regarding each and every aspect of the IELTS examination. So we explain everything here in a very organized and a structured manner. These are again by all the top educators. There are doubt clearing sessions. Every fourth session is a doubt clearing session. And in case you have any kind of a doubt, you can easily clear that in that particular session. These are the courses which I am intending to schedule. Uh, like this was structure and the types of classes. This was the class which I took today regarding it was a capsule course on the IELTS writing task too where the first session was a structure and types of questions which I took today. Tomorrow will be vocabulary for writing task 2 which I will be taking at, up at 11 a.m. which we will be discussing the various vocabulary that can be used in IELTS writing task 2. Then the next session on the 27th would be a format of a band 9 essay. We will be discussing what a band 9 essay looks like and We'll discuss all the format in that. Then the fourth session, of course, would be a doubt clearing session. This is for the mainly the IELTS writing task two. Besides this, I have another course which is ongoing right now. That is the basic, the introduction of the IELTS, in which we have the we had discussed the cohesive devices in IELTS that was which I took today at 9 30 a.m. Tomorrow I'll be explaining the writing band scores in details about all the four parameters and what they mean what are the requirements of each of these parameters and if you go by these if you uh, just adhere to these all parameters how can you score the bands so tomorrow would be the session on the IELTS writing band scores explained which would be at 9.30 a.m. Then on 27th there would be a speaking band scores which would be explained and what parameters are there and how we can score higher bands in the speaking. So that is there on the 27th of November. Then of course on 28th there would be a doubt clearing session. After that, I would be introducing a whole month in which I'll be giving you the different types of the questions. I'll be explaining each and every question of the task two. I'll take up each session on that and explain all the smaller aspects of how to answer these different types of questions by following the various structures. And at the same time, it will also be there to give you the details about what the question requirement is hope you all are following me any questions have you understood what my courses would be right okay and this is the IELTS subscription fee which is very nominal there are the different course fees like one month fee structure is 2799 per month if you go by that and if you go for a three month fee structure that will be 6900 for three months and if you use my referral code and code 
you would get 10% discount on that also. You would get a discount of 690 rupees on that also. And then there is a six month course fee, course fee then there is also a 12 month course fee in which you get a 60% discount already. And if you use my referral code, you will get a 10% discount on that also. So this, the course fee is very nominal as compared to the other courses available online. Because those are very expensive, even for uh, an essay correction charges, just for one essay, they charge thousands of rupees. But here we are just asking for a small fee forward to the classes. So let's move to the connectors. What are the connectors? What do you mean by connectors? Connectors are also called cohesive devices. Cohesive devices means they add to the cohesion. They are used to connect certain sentences. So connectors are also called cohesive devices. Are the words like, for example, in conclusion, however, and moreover. These are the examples of called connectors. And these connect our sentences. These connect our phrases to the different, uh, like, different phrases together and give a meaning to the sentence and add to the meaning of the sentence. Together with coherence, cohesion provides 25% of your marks in both parts of the writing test. However, most students do not use them effectively. So, if you know how to use these connectors effectively, you can score higher bands. There are many students who just use these connectors or cohesive devices in such a way that they feel that these course, these should be there in every sentence. Both log aisa sochte hain ki unko cohesive devices ya connectors har ek sentence mein use karna chahiye because unko lagta hai ki agar hum use karenge to hamare bands jyada aayenge. This is not true because the connectors or the cohesive devices should be used in a limited manner. Utne use karo jitni requirement hai. थोड़े से लर्न करो लिमिटेड लर्न करो डोंट लर्न हंड्रेड्स ऑफ देम उनको आप लिख लिख के कॉपी में पेज पेजेस भर रहे हो जस्ट टू से कि हाँ कनेक्टर्स लर्न कर रहे हैं कनेक्टर्स से हमें बैंड्स ज़्यादा मिल जाएंगे डेफिनेटली कनेक्टर्स लीड टू योर बैंड स्कोर्स बट दे शुड बी यूज इफेक्टिवली दैट इज द मेन पॉइंट इवन इफ यू यूज स्मॉल कनेक्टर स्मॉल वर्ड्स लाइक एंड एंड बट इफेक्टिवली दैट विल बी मोर हेल्पफुल टू यू उनसे आपको ज़्यादा बेनिफिट मिलेगा अगर आप उनको इफेक्टिवली यूज़ करते हो तो इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दीज कनेक्टर्स इन एवरी सेंटेंस क्योंकि अगर आपको किसी का मीनिंग नहीं भी पता है रट लिया कनेक्टर डाल दिया और सेंटेंस में चलो जी बैंड्स आएंगे इफ़ यू यूज कनेक्टर्स विदाउट नोइंग द मीनिंग एंड विदाउट नोइंग द प्रॉपर यूजेज एंड ग्रामर यू वोट बी एबल टू गेट हायर बैंड्स यू वोट बी एबल टू गेट more than five bands in your lexical resource. Okay? I'll be explaining these bands in a session, one of these sessions, in the paid sessions. So, these are the details that we understand well. That is why we tell you that you subscribe to our courses because here we don't have sufficient time. We just explain just the basics. जिसको बोलते हैं ना कि टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग जो सिर्फ एक छोटा पार्ट है ये तो सिर्फ एक ट्रेलर है कहानी तो अभी बाकी है तो वो कहानी और फिल्म जो आपने देखनी है वो आप तभी आपको मिलेगी अगर आप उसमें सब्सक्राइब करते हो कोर्सेस में और आप तभी आपको पूरी डिटेल्स मिल पाएंगी क्योंकि तो जनरली आप ट्रेलर देखने के बाद आपको इतना पता चल जाता है कि फिल्म में है क्या बट अगर आपने पूरी स्टोरी देखनी है तो यू विल हैव टू सी द फिल्म सिमिलरली This is this is the thing कि अगर आप courses को subscribe करते हो ये special classes just एक trailer है यहाँ पे we are giving you only those details which are just to give the overview of what we'll be teaching in those plus classes, right? So try to subscribe to these courses and then learn in detail. अपनी डाउट्स क्लियर करवाओ अपना लर्निंग तो तभी होगी ना अगर आपकी इंट्रैक्शन ज़्यादा होएगी आपको पूरी डिटेल्स हर कोर्स के बारे में डिटेल में पता चलेगा तभी तो आप लर्न कर पाओगे राइट right? 
so going for the subscriptions because just is me we are telling about the connectors i had taken about the cohesive devices a session in the morning but that was a paid session and only those people who had subscribed could see those those uh, sessions to wo hum yahan pe thodi bata payenge isme i am just telling what connectors are connectors are the cohesive devices jaise ye examples are for example in conclusion however and more over together with these connectors cohesion provides 25% of your marks in both parts of the writing test 25% weightage hoti hai inki ko connectors like in the cohesion cohesion ki 25% weightage hoti hai and connectors play a major role in adding to that cohesion bands inka bahut bada role hota hai isliye unko effectively aur acche tarike se correctly use karna hame aana chahiye now why are these words called connecting connectors these words are called connecting words because they connect our sentences they tell the readers what we are doing in the sentence and they signal to the reader with the relationships what the relationships between the different clauses and sentences and paragraphs are with the help of these connectors we just connect those sentences we connect different phrases different paragraphs with each other and they tell the reader suppose the connector is used in the writing connector se hame ye pata chalta hai ki aage hum kya karne wale hain like we are adding the information or we are giving a contrast information ya hum kisi result ka discuss kar rahe hain ya hum koi conclusion de rahe hain ya hum apni opinion de rahe hain so these connectors tell us what we are telling what we are trying to convey they give you the real meaning they add to the meaning of the conversation and make the conversation more clearer so that we can get bands in the cohesion and coherence both right so this is what the role of the connectors are and effective use of these words not not the overuse or the underused इसमें दो तरह ओवर यूज ऑल्सो लाइक जैसे मैंने पहले भी एग्जांपल दिया कि लोग स्टूडेंट्स सोचते हैं कि हर एक सेंटेंस में कनेक्टर डाल दो तो हमारी राइटिंग में बैंड आ जाएंगे दैट इज कॉल्ड ओवर यूज कनेक्टर वहीं पे यूज करना है उतना ही यूज करना है जितना रिक्वायर्ड है और अंडर यूज अंडर यूज मीन्स डालते ही नहीं कभी पूरे पूरे ऐसे में टू वर्ड्स के ऐसे में हम एक कनेक्टर यूज कर रहे हैं दैट इज अंडर यूज because in the 250 words essay we need connectors and according to what information you we are giving we can use certain number of connectors and we can use them instead of making a whole lot of hundreds of words keeping a list unki list bana ke diary mein rakh li ratte maar rahe hain ki jaise conclusion hai conclusion ke liye we are using different types of the words to sum up to uh, recapitulate और इन ब्रीफ दीज वर्ड्स आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड कंक्लूजन आपने एक ऐसे की एक ही लिखनी है एंड सो यूज दोज लिमिटेड कनेक्टर्स उसके लिए आप टू कंक्लूड लिख दोगे दैट विल बी मोर देन सफिशेंट उससे आपका क्या होगा कि दैट इज मोर रेलिवेंट एंड एकेडमिक वर्ड एंड इट इज रेलिवेंट टू द टॉपिक फॉर्मल टाइप ऑफ वर्ड सो कनेक्टर्स हमें वो यूज करने हैं दैट गिव अस मोर बैंड दैट बेस्ट satisfy the requirement of the essay so agar hum jaise i'm just giving you the example that if we learn only two connectors for the conclusion to conclude or in conclusion and we use the same everywhere it will not make any difference because ias exam mein hame ek hi essay likhna hai ek hi conclusion dena hai to usme agar hum different types of conclusions learnne ka hame learn karne ka hame benefit kya hoga humne to sirf conclusion hi dena hai na wahan par how can okay pachu you saying how can we improve the cohesive devices how many types of cohesive devices used madam how many devices are used in one paragraph pachu there is no fixed there is no fixed number ki humne itni hi use karni hai depending on that maybe two or three jaise hum start karte hain koi paragraph 
जिसमें हमने लिखना है एडिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन सपोज हम कोई एक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से डिस्कस बोथ व्यूज़ है जैसे डिस्कस बोथ व्यूज में हमने एक आइडिया दे दिया उसमें वी आर एडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन सो वी कैन से एड फर्दर मोर टू इट वी कैन राइट दैट और वी कैन से एडिशनली उससे हमारी इन्फॉर्मेशन ऐड हो गई नेक्स्ट अगर हम बोथ व्यूज का डिस्कस कर रहे हैं एंड वी आर राइटिंग द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन हम लिख रहे हैं दैट इज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द सेकेंड व्यू पॉइंट दैट वुड बी इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू दैट we can say use one word in contrast in comparison or on the other hand any one of these devices can be used there is no fixed limit but they should be used appropriately depending on the type of the question hope you understood pachu samajh mein aaya what i am trying to tell agar koi aur uh hai you can tell me hope you understood it any doubts like how much we have to use ashu gautam hello how are you gartan ashu gartan how are you so that is why i always recommend the students to use only those those connectors or those those connective devices which are important just thode se words use karo lekin unko achhi se use karo 100% unki aapko usage ka pata ho how to use them grammatically correct right which one is used first in addition furthermore isme bhi koi fixed rule nahi hai ki we can use in addition or furthermore we are writing एक आइडिया हमने दे दिया उसका ही हम सेकंड आइडिया दे रहे हैं तो वी कैन यूज फर्दर मोर आल्सो और उसी का हम सेकंड आइडिया फिर से दे रहे हैं वी आर एडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन टू इट वी कैन यूज इन एडिशन आल्सो इसका कोई रूल नहीं है कि फर्स्ट वो बोलना है या सेकंड वो यूज करना है दैट इज नो फिक्स रूल इन दैट आप किसी भी तरीके से यूज कर सकते हैं उसको राइट पाचू एनी अदर डाउट्स so here i was again focusing on this i was stressing this that effective use of these words not overused or underused fetch higher bands in your writing as well as speaking module unke unka humne utna use karna hai jitna effective ho har cheez mein agar hum koi cheez mein bahut zyada suppose hum generally speaking example dete hain hum namak kisi cheez mein zyada dal de to wo sabzi ka taste kharab ho jata hai na so we have to use that limited thing only to taste is it better similarly to give the beauty of the essay we have to use it in a limited context and wherever it is necessary not too much of everything because excess of everything is bad so many students use them almost in every sentence that is also wrong and this is a major mistake you should use them as per the requirement but not as a tool for scoring bands राइट right? हमें सिर्फ उनको ऐसे यूज करना है कि दैट इज एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट वी आर एडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन और वी आर गिविंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन कंट्रास्ट मैंने मॉर्निंग वाले सेशन में एग्जांपल देके समझाया था कि इन द सेम सेंटेंस इफ वी यूज दिस कनेक्टर इट वुड गिव दिस काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इफ यू यूज दिस कनेक्टर इट वुड गिव अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मैसेज टू द अदर पर्सन सो दैट इज द यूसेज ऑफ द कनेक्टर कि कैसे हम यूज करते हैं कनेक्टर्स को दैट इज वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द कोर्सेज सो दैट आपको पूरी डिटेल्स में मिल पाए कि हम कैसे क्या देने वाले हैं नाउ टूडे दिस इज वी डोंट हैव सफिशेंट टाइम तो मैं इसमें पूरा एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पाई हूँ बट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू वॉट माई कोर्सेज वुड भी ये मैं थोड़ा आपको बता देती हूँ कि मेरे कोर्सेज नेक्स्ट कौन कौन से होंगे वन इज दिस कोर्स जो आज मैंने स्ट्रक्चर एंड टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन लिया दैट वॉज इन राइटिंग टास्क टू इसमें हम वोकेबलरी विच आई बी डिस्कसिंग टूमोरो फॉर द राइटिंग टास्क टू एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दैट डिफरेंट वोकेबलरी और डिफरेंट वर्ड्स जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टूडे एंड रोल टू माई कोर्सेज टूडे एंड लर्न दीज वोकेबलरी और डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स विच वी विल बी यूजिंग इन टास्क टू
बिकॉज टास्क टू आपको पता ही है कि इट हैज मोर वेटेज इन कंपेरिजन टू द टास्क वन देन उसके बाद हम बैंड नाइन एस से फॉर्मेट डिस्कस करेंगे दैट विल बी ऑन द ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ फिर उसके बाद देर विल बी अ डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन एंड दीज ऑल कोर्सेज आर एट इलेवन ए एम दीज ऑल क्लासेस वुड बी एट इलेवन ए एम और एक मेरी क्लास चल रही है असाइनमेंट एट नाइन थर्टी एम जिसमें मैंने कोई सेफ डिवाइस डिटेल्स में आज डिस्कस की थी एंड टमोरो आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द राइटिंग बैंड एक्सप्लेन पूरे राइटिंग बैंड में वॉट हाउ कैन वी स्कोर टास्क अचीवमेंट अब नेट पे बहुत कुछ सर्च करते हुए मिलता भी होगा लेकिन उनका एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग क्या होता है हमें क्या चाहिए उसमें एग्जाम्पल वाइज पूरा एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है मैंने इन कोर्सेस में इन लेसन्स में सो so दैट हमें पता चले कि हम कैसा लिखेंगे तो हमें बैंड्स अच्छे मिलेंगे सिमिलरली इन स्पीकिंग उसमें भी पूरा एक्सप्लेन किया है कि हम स्पीकिंग बैंड्स में हाउ कैन वी स्कोर हायर बैंड्स वॉट आर द things that that we should use in the speaking module so that we can get higher bands then there would be a doubt clearing session on 28th uske baad first say i'll be starting practice sessions uh, can we use can we use start however at the beginning of the sentence writing band descriptor is very important speaking band descriptor yes bachu yes the writing band descriptors are very important so wo main kal session lene wali hu you can go for that baki you ask that can be used however at the beginning of the no however cannot be used in the beginning of sentence but agar aap koi kisi cheez se compare kar rahe ho then we can use it like aap keh sakte ho ki um, however I always try to just start the sentence like this that I always try to go for a walk. However, I don't get sufficient time. Then we use however, right? Not at the beginning. आप ये नहीं कह सकते कि however I go for a walk. ऐसा नहीं use कर सकते उसको. That is wrong. Right? So friends, now it's time I have to finish this class. Uh, just please subscribe to my courses using my referral code so that आप ये कल वाले जो क्लासेस हैं इनको अटेंड कर सकें एंड बिसाइड्स दिस आप जो वोकेबलरी एंड लाइक बैंड नाइन ऐसे दीज वे बी डिस्कसिंग सो इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ आई बी टेकिंग मोर क्लासेस फॉर प्रैक्टिस सेशंस दैट वुड बी देयर इन डिफरेंट मॉड्यूल्स सो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स for being with me